I'm Lisa Cheplak, nutrition chef with Green Our Planet. I just got back from the grocery store and parked my car outside. Now my car ride got me thinking. If I asked you to name one thing that humans and cars have in common, do you know what that would be? Well, we both don't have tires. Only cars have tires. Humans have feet, of course. We both don't have eyes. Only humans have eyes. But the one thing we both share in common is that we both need fuel. Cars need gasoline or electricity if it is an electric car. If you don't put gas in a gasoline-driven car, what happens? It won't move. You can try putting other things in your gas tank, sugar, sand, or oil, but your car will still not move. It needs just the right kind of fuel in order for it to operate. Your body is the exact same way. It is an engine that burns calories and constantly needs fuel. Do you know what we call that fuel? Food. And just like cars, you need to put the right kind of food in your body for it to work well. All living things need food to stay alive and stay healthy. So I have a question for you. What does it mean to be healthy? What does being healthy mean to you? But can we put any kind of food in our bodies? What if all we ate were donuts? <laughs> Could we last very long on those? Not really. Only bread, only milk, only cheese. Would one of these be enough to fuel your body? No, they would not. Do you know why? Do you want to find out? Let's investigate. Did you know that we could divide all of our food into five groups? Do you know what a food group is? Do you know what this is? It's an apple, that's right. But what food group does an apple belong to? What is an apple? Did you say fruit? You're right. But what is a fruit, do you remember? A fruit is a part of a plant that has seeds and flesh like this apple. Do you see the seeds? All fruits have seeds in them, and that is our first food group, fruits. How about this? What is this? That's right, it's lettuce. But let me ask you something, is lettuce a fruit? No, it's definitely not a fruit. Does lettuce have seeds in it? No. So what is lettuce? Did you say vegetable? Well, that's right. But what is a vegetable? A vegetable is any plant whose roots, stems, or leaves are edible. What part of the plant is the lettuce we eat? That's right, the leaves. So if apples belong to the fruit food group, then what food group would lettuce belong to? Did you say the vegetable food group? You are correct. Now let me ask you another question. What is this? Did you say bread? You are correct. Is bread a fruit? Definitely not a fruit. Is bread a vegetable? It's not a vegetable. So what is bread? Where does bread come from? Do you know? Did you know that when you're eating bread, you are eating seeds? That's because the way we make bread is to first harvest the seeds of wheat plants, which is a type of grass. Then we take those seeds and grind them into flour. 
Then we make bread from the flour and bake it in an oven. Then we cut up the bread and use it to make a sandwich. So if bread comes from seeds, then what food group do you think seeds come from? Did you say from the seed group? That's right, but we actually call seeds like wheat and rice and oats grains. So bread belongs to the grain group, which is our third food group. Fruits, vegetables, and grains. Now we have two more groups of foods. Do you know what they are? What food group do you think eggs, beans, and cows belong to? They all belong to one group, and we call that the protein group. Proteins help build tissues in your body, like your muscles and your skin. And they are found in foods like eggs, nuts, beans, fish, tofu, poultry, and meat. All of these foods are part of the protein group, which is our fourth food group. After fruits, vegetables, grains, and protein. Do you know what our fifth food group is? Let me give you a hint. So what group do you think that milk, cheese, and yogurt belong to? Did you say dairy? You are right. Our last food group is the dairy group that includes milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, soy milk, and cottage cheese. So now that we know there are five food groups of food, do you want to know why these food groups are so important? That's because you need to eat foods from all five of these food groups in order to get everything your body needs to stay healthy, grow, and keep strong. Eating from all five groups also prevents you from getting sick. So do you remember I asked you what would happen if we only ate donuts as our only food? Well, what food group does donuts belong to? That's right, the green group, because donuts are made from flour, and flour comes from seeds. But can we only survive on eating one food group? Definitely not. We need to eat from all five of the food groups in order to get all of the protein fiber, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need. If we only just ate one, we are not helping out our entire body. But if we eat all five, then we're giving our bodies everything they need. Now let me take out some of the groceries that I got at the store today and see what food groups we have. First we have some bread. Do you remember what food group bread is in? Did you say grains? You are correct. Grains are important sources of complex carbohydrates, dietary fiber, B vitamins and minerals, iron, magnesium, and selenium, all important nutrients to keep us healthy. We have some lettuce. What food group is lettuce in? Did you say the vegetable group? You are correct. Vegetables are important sources of many nutrients, including fiber, potassium, and vitamins A and C. We have some tomatoes. Do you know what food group tomatoes are in? Did you say the fruit group? You are correct. It has seeds, so it is a fruit. So it is in the fruit group. Important nutrients that we get from fruit include potassium, fiber, vitamin C, and folic acid. I have some cheese slices. Do you know what food group cheese is in? Did you say the dairy group? You are correct. Cheese contains calcium. Consuming calcium is essential for strong bones and teeth. Other nutrients from the dairy group are vitamin D, potassium, and protein. I have some hummus. 
Do you know what food group hummus is in? This is a tricky one. Do you know what hummus is made with? Garbanzo beans. Beans are a protein and part of the protein food group. Nutrients from the protein group include B vitamins, vitamin E, iron, zinc, and magnesium. Protein is important for growth and development. Each meal you eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner should have three to five of the food groups. Now let's build a sandwich using all five of the food groups. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spread hummus onto our bread. Hummus contains protein, which is good to build strong muscles. Next, we add a slice of cheese from our dairy calcium group. This cheese is made from soy milk, which is a part of the dairy calcium group. Then we're gonna to top it with some lettuce from our vegetable group and a slice of tomato from our fruit group. And we have our food group sandwich with all five food groups represented. Doesn't it look tasty? Now I challenge you to create your own sandwich using all five food groups. Do you think you can do it? Find your favorite grain, your bread, and then add your favorite fruit, vegetables, protein, and dairy. Thanks for watching. I'm Lisa Cheplak, nutrition chef from Green Our Planet. We'll see you next time. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it, which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all the lives that live on it.